Today in this clip lineup, we have rude Karens who got what they deserve after acting all high and mighty. Let's begin. This customer put a rude Karen that was being disrespectful to a salon employee in her rightful place. I'm just letting you know. That's all I'm saying. I'm telling you. And I'm not talking to you. But I'm letting you know that it's disrespectful. And if I'm standing here and I'm doing something, you walk right in here and you didn't know me to say, excuse me, that was already a problem. And then you came up in here disrespecting my friend. So that's the second problem. And she's I'm, my friend too, okay? I'm letting you know you don't disrespect her. Don't come in here talking crazy to you because I've been coming here for years. Period. Yes. And I'm saying, okay, call the police on her. Period. Y'all better stand up for her. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. This one right there. Racist Cameron with some kids earmuffs gets chewed by a store worker and other customers for being rude. What country you're from? That says exactly what it says. Okay. What you say? Doesn't say that. Did you see what country I'm from? Yeah. I said that you can't understand that English written right up there. Miss, I have lived in America just like you did. Now get out my store. Uh, uh, get out my store. I'll just be uh, uh, oh, Boo. Boo. Boo, you're the problem. Oh, yeah? Boo. It's a dollar twenty cents. Boo! You're white trash. White trash. White trash. Sure we are. Karen accuses a customer of stealing some clothes and snatches her basket rudely, even though she was clearly still at the register. Also, aren't secret shoppers not allowed to reveal their identity? Let me know, please. Those shirts, you didn't bring those up just now. What are you talking listen, about? my name's Megan. I'm one of the secret shoppers, and we're gonna have to just get, get okay. Don't touch my shirt. Listen, don't, don't touch, touch me. Shirt. I'm sorry. Oh wow. I'm sorry. We're just gonna call the police. What? We're gonna call the police. Yeah, you just put your hands on me. I did not. I saw what you did. I did. You stole that. I did not. You did. Okay, ma'am, don't touch my shirt. It. It's official. Service workers are tired of rude customers and would go to extreme lengths to prove how tired they are like these Dunkin' Donuts employees who throw donuts at these insolent errands. <laughs> who do you think is a Karen in this situation, the hotel manager, or the complaining customers. You internally, I checked. Your reservation was canceled by a third party, which is not on our end, nor is anyone in the system. One of you, whoever booked it, which she said she didn't know, which would fall on whomever that might be, would be one of you. So, so how is our hotel at your fault? There's nowhere else to put you. You're lucky you got in a room for what we did do for what my girl had last night. She contacted me, and I did check internally last night. But ignorance is bliss, and you guys are just blazing this morning. And then to ask for a cop escort out of the hotel when someone tells you you're not welcome? No, we did not. No, they both have your names, and so we what, do, what do you think should happen? You think you should stand up here to place a business and call and complain and handle your thoughts? Right there's the business office. If you have corporate complaints, walk yourself right in there and call. I'm not afraid. I don't know what you people think. Well, first of all, Miss Rose. I do not want to talk to you. See? I want to argue with a fool. Do you understand? Wow. I don't know why you feel that <laughs> way about shut you. up. Ebony, 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 just stop. Yes, so please. I don't want to talk to you. I'm not going to argue with a fool. I'm just not. So, so we're both fools. Questions. I know you ask questions, so but we got to have a conversation. Answer those. Or do you just get I'm the talk? I'm done. You understand? The law is coming. You've got an hour to get your belongings and leave my property. Do you understand? Can I make myself any more clear? Discussions went out the window an hour ago, and it took you 20 minutes to tell what the actual problem was when there isn't one. It hasn't even been an hour. Room? No, no, no. I, I, I wasn't trying to get a I, didn't, I didn't say that either. <laughs> I did not say that at no one time. No one behind this desk cares at this point. So if I were you guys, I'd get my stuff and I'd leave. If you're being so, so polite and kind now at this point. We we have been from the beginning. Sure we have. Miss Crystal, have I ever at once She's raised my voice? She's to answer your question, remember? A very rude Karen gets all worked up and starts to verbally insult airplane workers because they wouldn't obey her little commands. 
Kudos to the employee for keeping us calm. The wheelchair is finally here, thank God. You know, let me tell you something. I, I look good, don't I? I look like I have no problems at all, but I have issues. I'm talking to him. I have issues, so don't act like I'm not handicapped. I am a handicapped beauty ass bitch, all right? Know that. Let's go. Get me to my gate and let me go. Please don't hold me up. I have to go. Move your ass, please. Walk as fast as you can. I'm not heavy. I know. I'm going to uh, right through the air, the security. A bitch ain't trying to walk far. Fuck out of here. I'm in the airport. You know how to pull it and use that wheelchair every time. That's how you get through security. I'm going to show you how right now. Yes, I do. Just keep going. I'll get it to you in a minute. You don't need it yet. I do, actually. Why? Don't say how the hell. Don't talk to me. I don't, I don't believe in hell. I'm a God woman. Who are you talking to? Watch your mouth, Poppy. Watch your mouth, Suave. Suave. When we get to that gate, I'll give it to you. Keep going. You're going to... No, no, don't get him. Let me tell you something. You know, I'm a fucking 50 year old. You fucking try me again, I will fuck you up. Let me see the, the, the boarding vest, ma'am. We cannot start the service without the boarding vest. Ask for it nicely. Don't get a, did, Don't act like a, door, a, a jerk off with it, all right? Because I don't got to give you nothing. Okay. And don't give me a headache because I'm already giving a sue this company for the way they treated me when I got on the plane the first time. Okay. Let me have my boarding pass, thank you. <laughs> Kiss my fucking ass. This dude is a jerk. Oh, surprisingly, there's no line at all today, huh? That's good. I should. I don't even need you. I could have fucking scooted my ass through that shit by myself without you. You well, know already what, who I am, right? No, you saw you my class earlier. Not no, the safety check. What? Checkpoint three. What? Checkpoint number three. For what? It's only the safety check. What? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Speak you, English. You can't come in here. You can't. You got. You gotta go in checkpoint three. What the fuck is checkpoint three? Why is it different? Did I, did I know why do I no? First, tell me why am I going to another checkpoint and I can't come to this you one? You can't come in here. Why? Because it's only DSA pre check. Okay. Well, take me to where he said to take me to. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. You should have said that the first time, idiota. Oh, fuck! I look like I know. I don't fucking work here. Dumbass. Point, what the fuck? Where's this three shit at? And you going real slow like you ain't eating no dinner tonight. Like you ain't got no fucking muscles. Look how slow we go. Look how, you don't have no muscles. I see. You know, I got weight 500 pounds in this wheelchair. Fuck out of here, this dumb shit. He better stop playing me. This man is, he better stop fucking playing me. You better take me to fucking checkpoint three and stop playing me or something. I'm complaining against you, you're gonna lose your go job. Ahead. I'm gonna tell you right now, don't fucking play me. I'm gonna make you go viral, anyway. don't play with me. I waited a long time when you pushed me to, crazy. you could push me to checkpoint three then. No. So why the hell he can't? Okay, let me go to the office and send somebody for help you. Please. He's supposed to help me. What you mean? Let me call the office and send somebody to help me. What are you talking about? Well, you got he has a to job know. to do. So don't give me no attitude. He has a job to do. He's not doing his job. Don't do that. She needs to go to, to walk to the check on your back. What? What you say? I don't hear shit from you, little lady. You a fucking joke to me right now. I ain't going no fucking way. Get me the fuck out the chair. Get off the chair. Unlock the wheel. Unlock the wheel. Unlock the wheels. I'm gonna scoot my ass there. Fuck you. Unlock the wheels. You motherfucker. No, I'm going. Excuse me. Ex you hurt my finger? You squeeze my finger? You squeeze my finger? Ma'am. No, I'm gonna scoot my ass to the. I'm gonna scoot myself there. You don't have to take me. Get your fingers off of it. I'm gonna scoot myself because I can't walk. Okay, that's a wheelchair. I'm gonna scoot there. 
He could get his hands off of the wheelchair. I'm going to scoot over there. You, you don't want to push me? Now. He don't have to push me. Okay, you cannot. So you have so to he can get the fucking push me to okay, push me so there. So you have to wait for another wheelchair. He could now. push me to fuck me up. Because you a fucking piece of shit. I know. Okay. Hey. You fuck with an old, uh, older person that has a wheelchair issue? You're going to go to hell. You gonna go viral too, you know that? Yeah. I hope so. Remember your face is gonna be all over the fucking TV. Yeah. You ugly. Fucking piece of shit. You're a real piece of fucking shit. Your mother didn't birth a baby, she birthed a turd like you. You gonna fuck with me today? That's how the fuck you living? You're nasty. And fuck you. Keep your fucking wheelchair, bitch! This store manager doesn't give squats about customer satisfaction and does what she feels like is right. There's several cards here. There's several cards here. You have an attitude problem. This is how they treat people that come to bid on vehicles here at Autumn. Another Panera freakout where an old Karen gets into a confrontation with a woman because her dress code assaults her face. <laughs> Thank you for sticking up for me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. No respect for anybody than you except your own age. You have people. no respect for yourself, love. First of all, you should be minding your business. Well, that is so funny. I wouldn't go out dressed like that if my life depended on you. Well, yeah, person. because look at you and look at how you look. And look at what you look like. You look poor. Oh, I look at what you look like right here. Because why do you keep running your mouth? Oh, that's just you. wonderful. Everyone should know that people can take a shrink and take a picture of her. I'm just wearing shorts and a top. Just that because and shorts. Just because I have a butt, you're making a scene. No wearing something like I that. do. We're in California, love. We are in California, love. It's a free country. I can wear whatever I want. Well, California doesn't want you. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. Well, this is where I'm sitting, so. <laughs> Are you kidding? Take a look at that. That doesn't offend you. We have to look at her. <laughs> It doesn't offend anybody, love, so mind your business. Really? Oh, and you're the market on that. Yes. I support her. You young people should not be so fat. You should be more And look at yourself. Stop talking about yourself. I will ignore her. You don't go somewhere else. You How about you leave the location? Nobody wants you here. Over here. Move somewhere else. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, she's, she's verbally assaulting this woman. He is, very, she is assaulting yeah. my face. Like, she's <laughs> dressing like she's dressing, you know, I don't know she's, she, she doesn't like what I'm wearing. As soon as I came in, she told me to put some clothes on. I said, I you should mind said, your business. Put some clothes on. Because put a mouth on and it doesn't You don't have anything to say about it. Yes, she does. Because she sat there and she visualized everything you said to me. And like, what does it matter to you? So disgusting. Who cares? I do. I'm 21 I and I can wear whatever I want. Offended by your it does underpants. not matter. And look at what you're wearing. That's so ugly. That's so classless. It doesn't offend anybody. It doesn't offend anybody. You're bothering you're everybody. Offends. You young people have no manners whatsoever. And you have no respect for yourself either. Oh, you're over here I talking to Property manager speaks rudely to her tenant about blasting the music while the tenant has been enduring loud music every night from her neighbor and the manager did nothing about it. My music is not loud. You can come in and listen. I, I, I heard it through two apartments and it's okay. loud. It's literally not loud mm -hmm. right now. I can't hear it anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm down. saying. No, it's been down. Okay, the base Okay, but stop. I put in a complaint. Okay, for if you're going to get nasty, I'm literally just going to close the door. I'm not going to get nasty. Okay, but your attitude, can you like bring it down a notch, please? Like, I'm not going to talk to you if you're going to be condescending towards me. Say what you need But, to. so, apartment 96, they bang at all hours 
of the night. Okay. I'm talking like anywhere from 10 o'clock to like 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Okay. It's, but when we complain about that, nothing gets done. Okay. My husband literally just put, Thomas, you can come down here if you want. Yeah, that's right. My, Have you called the police? No. Why would I? Why would I waste taxpayer resources? Like, because for noise complaints after hours, those you know, and then my husband has to wake up at five o'clock in the morning. Like, I really like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like it's just an extra thing for him to like have to wake up to Mm -hmm. when a cop's ringing my doorbell, and then it wakes the baby up, and it like, you know, it Mm -hmm. just it's it's overwhelming. Okay, do you have recordings of that? I do. Okay, this clip is funny. This woman walks all the way to her neighbor's house just to throw one piece of dried leaf and walks away. Woman has an outburst at CVS and curses Cheryl out there, who was an employee because she felt disrespected. I told you, I don't want you don't even believe me. I just got out of here. Believe me. I'm having my job for this crap. My son is old enough. This is my legal caretaker. I just want help to come here. I don't want her. Anybody else can do it? Black her. And she better give everybody in there respect. Because this is something she don't need to be here. That's why people leave CVS for the people like you. CVS and Walgreens. Because of people like you. Sis over here wasn't about to play and was ready to throw some punches. Who do you think is Karen here? The woman who wants to split another woman's wig or the one who wants to call the cops? Split your motherfucking wig, all right? You were in a school No, I ain't on the clock. I will split your motherfucking wig and get ghetto on your motherfucking ass. I'm tired of your motherfucking trying to play me like I ain't motherfucking. Yo, one ghetto bitch, I'll give you motherfucking ghetto. Good, I'm reporting you to the cops. Karen chases this skateboarding kid and tries to attack her. Karens just hate all forms of activities that bring joy to people. A frustrated Karen couple hates that these young girls are fooling around and enjoying life, so the man holds their cart, refusing to let go, and asks that his wife call 911. The PD right behind me. Yeah, we saw them. You better. The PD, okay? I just called my She dad. just said that she'll walk it back. Like, what is your problem? $350. But she just said she's going to walk it back, so I don't understand okay. why he's putting his Call hands on. Call the PD. We're going to arrest some people here. 
Go get your phone. Get your phone. Here, record so I can call my dad. <laughs> Brooklyn, grab my phone so I can call my dad, bro. Huh? We're not going nowhere, though. Where are we going? We're literally in front of Kohl's right now. You're not going cold. You're screwing around. And someone there. Okay. We're in the Kohl's parking lot, though. Call 911. Just back up, See? Literally just messing around and he's pulling the car from us saying we're stealing. Mama Bear put some Karens in their places after they yelled at her daughters who were busy enjoying dinner and minding their own business. I'm laughing. Is it a crime to laugh? I'm sorry, Karen, what? <laughs> God forbid you hear a noise when you're eating. God forbid. <laughs> Oh my god. There's like there's a whole bunch of people in here. <laughs> he actually yelled at us. Like he was my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta I gotta TikTok this. Two Darren's arguing with one another over a bike spot. The one with a table is a street vendor and he puts his business against a bike rack. The other dude is pissed because his bike is locked there. Who's in the wrong here? Let me know in the comments. Crazy Karen has the most epic meltdown in the street and harasses a boy because he rode his bike on the sidewalk. I'm assaulting you? Yeah, I did. What are you going to do about it? Oh, really? Are you? Are you going to? Are you going to come and Or are you going to be riding your bike on the street?
Somebody call 911. The only reason he hasn't left yet is because he doesn't have any more orders to pick up. Took you long enough. Shush, shush, shush.